In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a skill tree system that uses objectives and key results to level up and track your skills. And you also have these character stats where you can rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. So it's fairly simple. Here, you would just type in, for example, an eight. You can obviously add or remove the stats that you want to track. You have your skills that you want to develop. And then inside of these skills, you have the actual things that you need to track in order to get to that skill. So for example, if you want to do a planche push-up, then you might start with a 30 second tuck planche hold and then five planche push-ups. That's the actual goal. One minute, one leg planche. So yeah, you can basically just add in your target, whether it's time or units or whatever it is, and then your current amount. And then that will show the progress bar. And then if all of these are 100%, then of course this will also be 100%. And that is how you track your skills. Now, obviously the main way you use this system is with goals. So you can have goals here as well, and then you can track your goals. But this one is specifically for skills, but you can literally just change the word and then this will work for goals as well because it is an objectives and key results goal tracker that I basically just turned into a skill development system. And the skill tree system is inside my life OS dashboard, which you can learn more about in the description below. And with that out of the way, let's start building. All right, so on the blank page, let's go ahead and type in the name and then also just give it an icon and also make the page full width. So the first thing we're going to do is create the three databases that we're going to use, which is going to be character stats, skills, and the key results. And then once you've added in your three databases, just go ahead and add an icon to all three of them. And then what I always like to do is I like to create call out boxes and then title these the same as the database title. And then I would hide the database title because we would have multiple views and then just make this bold, underline it, change the text color, and then also just match it with the database icon. Now that we have our three databases, let's go ahead and add a database entry to them. And then we're going to add in all the properties and create the views. So for character sets, it's actually just one property, which is going to be a number property. And we're going to title this rating. And here you just want to select the progress bar or the progress ring, make it divide by 10, and then just change the color to red. And now if we add in eight, for example, you'll see that we have a eight out of 10 for this character stat. I'm also going to click on this view and then just rename it with a space in order to remove the name and then also add in an icon. And in order to save time when you create the database entries, you wanna create a new template, add in the icon that you want all of them to have, and then also just add in zero for the rating so that the progress bar actually shows. And then we're going to just set this as default and now if we create new database entries, it will automatically have zero, which shows the progress bar and also this triangle icon. And then you simply just wanna go in and add in all of your different character stats. And then once you've done that, you just wanna turn this layout into a gallery view and then just change the card preview to none, change the card size to small, and then also just go and show the rating property. Next is the skill database. So here we're going to add a status property and we're also going to add in a formula which is going to be called progress bar. And here you just wanna give it an icon. And then we're also going to add in a relation to our key results database and toggle on two-way relation as you should do pretty much always. And then here we're going to just add in this icon. And as you can see here at the bottom, we have the relation to the skills database showing here at the bottom as well. Now for the key results, we're going to add a number property which is going to be called current. And let's just add in icon for this one. And then let's just duplicate this because we also need a second number property, which is going to be target. And then let's add in this icon and then also just add in a formula, which is going to be the progress bar showing the progress between them and give an icon for this one as well. Now for both of these databases, we're gonna do the same thing that we did for the first one, which is adding a template to automatically add in icons. And then we're just going to set this as default and then also just do the same thing for the key results. And that way we don't have to add in icons when we add new database entries. Now, as you can see, I've added in an example skill and some progressions. And what I'm now going to do is I'm gonna just going to link these to the planche pushup like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the targets for all of them. So this one is 30, this one is 60 seconds, and this one is five planche pushups. And then you can just add in your current so we are in this progression and I'm just going to make this smaller. And now we're going to create the progress bar. So it's very simple. You just divide the current property by the target property, click on done. 
Then click on the progress bar property, go to number format and change it to percentage, change the decimal places to zero, click on the progress bar and then change the color to red. And as you can see, if we increase this, then you'll see that the progress bar will increase. And if I make this five out of five, then it will show 100%. So now we wanna show this progress bar on the skills database. So here we have our rollup. And what we wanna do is we wanna select the key results database. We want to select the progress bar property. And then we wanna go to more options and click on average. So it will show the average progress bar. And then we just wanna change this to a progress bar and then also just change the color to red. So now as I increase this, you will see that our progress bar will update. And that's all the properties. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change the layout of this to a gallery view, change the card preview to none, change the card size to small, add a space to remove the name. And then we're just going to add in this checkbox and also just show the progress bar. Now what we can also do to clean this up is we can click on the database entry, click on customize layout, and here for the heading, we want to pin the status property as well as the progress bar. And then for this one, we want to click on add to layout because it's a relation. And then we can click on convert to relations group. And that way, if we click apply, then here you'll see that we have our relations group and we can show the progress bar like this. And it just cleans everything up. Now for this view, you can filter this by the status where it is in progress. So it will only show your in progress skills. And then if we duplicate this and then let's just change the icon, then we can change the status. So this, for example, only shows the ones we haven't started yet. And then you can also do one where it only shows the completed skills. Now for this key results database, what we're going to do is we're going to hide this relation property and then we're going to go into group and we're going to group it by the skills, as you can see there. So we have our skills and then we can also show aggregation and then go to more options, average progress bar. So this will also show the total. And then we're going to just click on the view, click on rename, add a space, and then here just add in an icon. And then we're going to click on this plus, click on board view. And then over here, we're going to click on done and then just hide the name, add in an icon, and then go to group and toggle on the hide empty groups as well as show the progress bar on this view and also just do the same with this formula. And there you go. Now you have a full skill tree where you can have character stats and you can update these. You can also link them to something like chart base where you can create a radar chart for all of your skills. And then you just need to add a nice cover and that is pretty much it for your skill tree. You have your character stats where you can rate yourself. You have the skills that you want to develop and then you also have the key results that you use in order to track your progress. And again, you can change this to goals if you want, because it does use the objectives and key results goal tracker, just modified for skills. But yeah, that's pretty much how you build the skill tree. And again, this system is already integrated inside the bigger life voice dashboard, which if you want to learn more, then check out the video that's on the screen now for a full walkthrough of my life voice dashboard. I'll see you there.